Okay, continuing our series on double integrals over general regions. We, we've seen a video where we describe what DDX, dy dx looks like and what dx dy looks like. And then we looked at one video where we have the order of integration dictated to you by the integrand. Now we'll move forward and look at the order of integration dictated to you by the region. So here's an example. We have the region defined as being between the curves x plus two and four minus x squared. If you look closely at the, the graph, the four minus x squared is a parabola who opens downward. The x plus two is a upward sloping line. And if you were to try it as dx dy, then when you move upward past the point where the line and the parabola intersect, the issue then comes in in the fact that you have the left limit and the, the upper limit and the right limit. The upper limit is the right limit, the lower limit is the left limit. You'd have these guys basically on the same curve. And so if that's the case, you can't do the upper minus lower when it's time for um, actually after integrating because they are the same curve. In some instances, you might be able to take advantage of symmetry and then cut it in half and be able to do it. But no, in general, though, what you want to do in the case where this happens is to switch the order and go, go a different order. Um, maybe do dy dx if dx dy is causing this to happen. dx dy is your horizontal slice moved upward. dy dx is your vertical slice moved from left to right. And so let's go on the next slide and work this integral. Um, perhaps it wouldn't be written as it is there on an exam or on a, um, just a, a, a question should be written as uh, the region bounded by the curves y equals x plus 2 and y equals 4 minus x squared. It wouldn't be written in that format. But anyway, we've seen the graph. We've seen the problem. The problem comes when you, not at first, the, the, the right function is the line and the left function is a parabola, but eventually the right function is a parabola and the left function is the parabola the region is dictating to you that you can't do it in this manner, dx dy, you must then switch to do it as dy dx. And you notice with this particular region, the upper function is always the parabola, the lower function is always the line. And so we are set up then to do this as a dy dx. And then we have to move from left to right. Um, we need to know where these guys intersect each other. Let's do some algebra. Let's set x plus 2 equal to 4 minus x squared. That way we can find our outside bound. Where do we start at? What's our lowest x and what's our highest x? Just a quadratic. Uh, we'll have x squared plus x minus 2. Factors nicely. x plus 2, x minus 1. Set them separately equal to 0. You'll get an x is negative 1. I'm sorry, x is negative 2 or x is positive 1. Okay, great. So those will be your outside bounds. You're gonna start at negative two and you're gonna end at one for the outside bounds. And for the inside bounds, you have the curves. The upper curve is the parabola, the lower curve is the line. Something strange about this one, we'll, we'll um, look at it in, a, in another video. The integrand isn't a multivariable function. The integrand is a constant. The integrand is one. So something strange happens when we do that. Um, I'll dig into that in more detail in um, another video. But anyway, yeah, we're integrating one with respect to y. So it's just gonna be y. And then we put in the upper minus lower. Hopefully you can see what's gonna happen. Honestly, this is a area between this, these two curves because we have the upper curve, four minus x squared, minus the lower curve, x plus two. This is something you learned back in Calc 1, um, being able to uh, find the area between curves. But here it is as a double integral. We'll look into it more detail on another video, don't worry. But yeah, this is just a simple polynomial integral. No trouble here. We'll have uh, two minus the x minus the x squared. If we wanna go in decreasing order, that'd be the minus x squared minus the x plus the two. Bounds negative two to one. And uh, yeah, so we just get minus x cubed over three, minus x squared over two, plus two x, antiderivative being the power rule in reverse, where we add one to the exponent, divide by the same thing. We put a one in, we get a negative a third, and a negative a half, and a two. 
would put a negative two in. Be careful with the signs. Cubing negative two is a negative eight, but there's a negative out front. So it becomes a positive eight uh, thirds. And then um, we get the negative two and the negative four. And just put this fraction arithmetic together. Maybe even put the, the thirds with the thirds before combining on the left and the right. So we have a negative one third and a negative eight thirds. They combine nicely to be negative nine thirds. Let me write that. We have a negative one third and a negative eight thirds. They combine nicely to be negative nine thirds or negative three. Okay. Um, this, uh, this two, this minus two, this plus four, that's all there. And then left over then is the uh, negative one half. So it works out nicely. Um, eight take away three is five, and then five take away a half. N positive nine halves is the answer to the question. And it happens to represent the area between the curves. We'll dig into that deeper in another video. Okay, it was the region that dictated to us that we could not do this as a dx dy because we had on both sides of the rectangle, uh, on both sides of the uh, the slice that's gonna be um, how we generate the volume, uh, we have the same curve, same curve, and no way to use symmetry to get our way out of it. So in the next video, we'll look at, um, maybe it's the integrand that's giving you trouble, maybe not full trouble like before, but maybe it's gonna be hard to find that. Maybe it's gonna be the region that's gonna give you trouble. And so we'll look at that on the next video. Uh, please like and subscribe. Um, if you have any comments, please comment down below hit the notification button. I don't know. I watch these videos with my daughter and she tells me that I need to say these things in my videos. So, all right, stay tuned for another video um, coming up shortly.